Time now for an update from Fox Carolina News and Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rates certified most accurate. Good Tuesday afternoon. We have some storms popping up across the mountains. We'll check in with Chief Meteorologist Kendra Kent in just a moment as she tracks those storms this afternoon at foxcarolina.com. We're following several breaking stories. Uh, we have gotten word the FBI has arrested an Anderson man charged in connection to the January 6th riot at the U.S. Capitol. Uh, neighbors reached out to us this morning after the FBI and U.S. Marshals raided this home right off I-85 at the lake. We have much more on this man arrest and more about his court hearing this morning in Greenville County at the federal courthouse. We'll have much more on that here at foxcarolina.com and of course on air this afternoon and tonight. And it's the McTat bust. We told you about this last night. They weren't serving up McFlurries at this Lawrence McDonald's. Instead, they were giving out tattoos Friday night in the lobby. And we have just learned this man, Brandon Presha, has been charged for giving illegal tattoos and also illegally tattooing a minor. That's from that viral video we showed you last night as customers were angry, waiting in line as they watched the employee inside giving tattoos in the lobby of the McDonald's on a dining room table. We have much more on his arrest and more from Lawrence police as well as a statement from DHEC in that article. And in a Fox Carolina follow up, we have just learned one of the carjacking suspects from that car wash on Friday afternoon and easily has been arrested. That is a look at Chase Simmons. Now he's pretty recognizable because Pickens County put these pictures out showing him in an ACDC shirt with the bandana. He has a gun right there robbing this guy at gunpoint of his Honda Civic. What we can tell you is they have tied him to another car theft in Traveler's Rest because guess what? He was wearing the same ACDC shirt and the same bandana. He is facing a slew of charges right now in Anderson County. He was picked up there and has holds on him out of Pickens and, of course, out of Traveler's Rest. We'll have much more on those stories as they develop. And of course, as breaking news happens, we'll bring it to you here inside our news website and of course inside our app. Well, it's 94 degrees, folks. It is a lot hotter out there today than we have seen. And we are seeing storms mm. pop up across the mountains, even uh, issuing some warnings this afternoon, Kendra. Yeah, there has been some strong storm activity, especially in Henderson and Transylvania County. Some gusty winds with the heavy rain that has fallen. It has felt like around 100 degrees in the Greenville area. It'll get better tonight. Let's take a look. It'll we'll have a few clouds left over after those storms simmer down after about six, seven o'clock this evening. 72 degrees for your overnight low in the mountains, mid 60s with some patchy fog. As we look ahead to tomorrow, very similar to today, hot, humid afternoon storms developing. They'll be more numerous in the mountains than in the upstate, but still we'll have a chance to get a, a little bit of rain just about any spot as we go throughout the afternoon and evening. Of course, you'll want to check in with us through the 4, 5, and 6 o'clock newscasts. And again, at 10 and 11. And be sure to download our Fox Carolina app. Check us out on Facebook. We're always doing Facebook Lives to keep you posted. And, down, and uh, head to our YouTube channel, too, for more on your forecast.